Well, we've had quite the abnormally warm week for our February, and luckily we get to end our week with warm temperatures and the chance for some showers and storms that are going to move through our area. Now, once those showers and storms move on through, we do see the chance of possible snow shower that moves in on Saturday. But luckily for today, we were looking at highs near 67 degrees. That is way above average, and we beat our record set back in 2000 of 53 degrees. Now, luckily, we get to enjoy these warmer temperatures for a little while longer as we start out tomorrow morning near 55 degrees. But unfortunately, those temperatures are just going to keep on dropping as we head into our Thursday. By Thursday night, we're looking at lows all the way down near 41 degrees. But luckily, by Friday, thanks to some southerly winds, we're going to see temperatures near 80 or 54 degrees as we head into Friday morning. And then as we head on throughout the day, we're looking at temperatures all the way near 67 and even 70s as we head further east. So definitely way above average for this time of year. Now for tomorrow, we're looking at mostly cloudy skies, and we're really not going to see a rain chance until we hit tomorrow evening. That's when we start to see these line of showers start to form across Illinois. Those are going to move through our area as we head into the overnight hours, but our next round of storms is what we're concerned with. That's on Friday. We're looking at a line developing on the Illinois-Indiana border around the late afternoon hours, and now those are going to make their way through our area. Now once those do make their way through, we're going to see the system circulate around and we're looking at chances for snow as we head in to Saturday morning. Now, the storm chances aren't the only thing that we're really concerned with. We're also concerned with winds. Thursday night, we're going to see wind speeds of near 18 miles an hour. And as we head into Friday, right before the main impact of these line of storms, we're looking at sustained winds of 27 miles an hour. So definitely, if we do get these severe storms like we're predicting, we're going to see some damaging winds, most likely, that are going to be the main impact of these line of storms. So definitely keep updated with us as we're going to try and keep you updated as well with what's going on outside. But once those uh, gustier conditions kind of move on out throughout the area, we're going to see wind speeds near 20 miles an hour as we head into Saturday morning. So we're going to get a little relief in the breeze, but still it's going to be quite gusty as we head into our Saturday. But for tonight, we're looking at lows near 47 degrees. It will be a little, it will be cloudy and winds out of the south at 5 to 10 miles an hour. Now, unfortunately, tomorrow our high will probably be hit in the morning, but it's going to be 51 degrees. We're going to look at mostly cloudy skies as we head on throughout the day. Now our rain chance and snow, uh, storms, that returns to our area by Friday. And we're looking at a roller coaster of 68 degrees and then all the way back down to 35 as we head into Saturday with that chance of snow showers. Now luckily, these colder temperatures really won't linger too long in our area as we're looking at 50 degrees as we start out on Monday.